Mr. Sanjeev Prasad. He has been associated with Reliance India Limited since 1995 and is presently positioned as Vice President and Plant Head for Power and Utilities. He is presently working on carbon neutrality, white hydrogen usage, biomass, and solar power utilization. He is also a skilled energy auditor and chartered engineer. Mr. Sanjeev Prasad will present a talk on safety training plus identification and mitigation of hazards. So let's welcome Mr. Sanjeev. The topic uh, that I have been asked to talk on happens to be safety. Safety, although it may sound to be too simple for people, it's not that simple. It's the way you look at things. It's as good as uh, if you simplify it, you can look at a housewife not knowing about hazards of gas, switching on the gas knob and then looking for the lighter. That's something common that we see because she does not know the hazard. So safety is equally good for people who do not know. First one is unless and until you know, you will never mitigate. So safety happens to be very important in part plant. Just uh, while I was asked to talk on all this, I was looking at data from CEI, Chief Electrical Authority, CEA, sorry, CEA. CEA data shows something which is not very good in terms of accidents that have been seen in our power plants. Those are ones that have been reported, maybe high intensity ones or fatalities that have been reported to CEA. Others which have not been reported are many more. We are missing things on very small sort of items. Like uh, most of the plants today, yes, they are good at PPE compliance and all. There were times when I started working, I had seen many plants which did not have basic PPEs, even like helmets and all. So personal protective equipments, yes, they are there. But when to use, how to use, what all to use, what will be the consequences, that is something which is largely missing amongst the employees, amongst the manpower that is deployed. Because why is it missing? It is missing because there is no knowledge about the hazards in the condition in which people work. The known hazards when you say in a power plant happens to be high pressure or steam, hot surfaces. These are common. I'm getting into very common things. Power suck from electrical connections, live connections being left open, improper isolation. So there are certain procedure and processes that people need to follow. Although it may sound cumbersome, initially when you start with such things, it appears that it will be taking time. So a small job that can be completed possibly in 10 minutes, you may end up taking another 20 minutes for it. But yes, it ensures that whosoever is working on it does not get hurt by any means. Rather, my understanding will be the person working has come there to draw only salaries, not any injuries. Nobody comes to work to draw any injuries whatsoever. whatsoever. It may mean a small scratch even. So if even if a scratch is there on somebody, yes, the safety is not proper. So where does the safety start? It does not start with the safety department. It starts with every individual who needs to be aware of what are the hazards. And that hazards are told to the people. People are made to understand as to what is happening around. See, one of the sort of neglected hazards, other than dust being controlled by ESP, if you get into a coal handling area, if you get into an ass handling area, these are areas where, yes, you may not see major uh, problems there, but yes, exposure to dust is very high. If you keep on monitoring and if you put on small things which can bring down the dust levels, it works wonderfully, yes, your people go happy. They do not end up with diseases which are related to their profession. So you need to take care of that. Another one being you do not have a systematic process of locking out and tagging out your electrical systems. This is a gap that is seen at most of the places whereby it is told, see, a standard way that we still continue with live on. I'm not talking of larger IPPs, but smaller people who operate like a small boiler or a small power generation unit. They have got such issues whereby those lockouts, tagouts, they are not documented. They are items which are there, but not known to many. It is known that somebody calls a technician, take a lockout. He does not know what is supposed to be done. See, major injuries in terms of electrical happens to be while taking, uh, while uh, 
uh, starting the process like uh, when you close the breaker you close the breaker you are not using the proper ppe the nomax suit that is supposed to be used closing ht all alone without realizing bypassing the interlocks another big one that is there in terms of you never test your interlocks you never test your trips which is supposed to be a scheduled activity during annual outages if you take check them they will work fine second one is if there is any problem you immediately look at bypassing things see if you get a wrong signal what you will do is you'll end up bypassing a trip say you get a wrong you know that there is level there is level in your drum but uh, there are three indicators out of those three one is malfunctioning you simply bypass it instead of trying to attend it while online it also remains healthy when you do it right during shutdown where you have got all opportunities to test them testing all trips either by simulation or by actuation everything cannot be checked by actuation but some of them can be checked by simulation also so testing all your trips and interlocks keeps your process safe the things are supposed to behave the way they are supposed to be if you have got certain say control valves and all you don't stroke check them so while running you get a feedback which is x while stroke checking you find that the feedback is something different physically it is operating differently that's why you are unable to control the processes many a times again i am getting back to smaller industry industries which are contributing largely to such things whereby they are single line equipments if those equipments goes the go down the plant will go down along with it so what you do is best thing is whatever does not work keep it aside and by this this means you are sacrificing the safety basic safety of the equipment like uh, another one being not calibrating your safety valves you need to calibrate your safety valves during every annual outage if you don't do it it's of no use safety valve is there perhaps it may not pop throughout the life of the boiler but even if it pops once it saves lives like anything so you need to check them you need to hand pop them subsequently you need to pressure pop them rather uh, you need to steam test those your safety valves so as you check your safety as you check your interlocks as you train your people to be aware of all this then your processes will become safe then your people will become safe you also train your people in terms of identifying hazards hazards can be as small as some object lying so power plants will be like a structure which will have some height minimum maybe around uh, say 10 meter 20 meter height of a structure will be there so on those structures you need to check that there is nothing loose that is lying there which can fall down so identifying that as a hazard a person does not realize that a small piece even even if a say pin sort of or not exactly a pin if you say a nail if falls down from height it can lead to injuries see a nail falling from top straight away falling on you can cause injuries and um, there may be a scaffolding pipe that is used it is left out loose a clamp that is left out so unless you make your last level worker identify those hazards he should be able to come back to you he should not fear he should be able to report these are the things which can fall which can cause injuries or there is something which is a the roof the things have gone old it is about to give off you wait for the storm to get in and make your roof fall so somebody may get injured so you start identifying such hazards which are not exactly process related but they are non process hazards but your best support is the person who is working right there right in the field who can help you identify them if you follow these things then your processes become safe your employees become safe and your business become safe more of it it is more safety is more about having a good reputation around having a good name around no company wants to be known around as a place where lot of injuries take place nobody wants to be known like that they may be able to manage it one way or the other managing is a different story but overall people who are working there they know it well nobody would like to come see nobody will like to send their children their relatives their husbands their wives to work in places which are not safe even if you are working in an office you say that your false ceiling is not properly fixed and it can fall right above you and nobody bothers about it you'll stop coming to that place so safety is as important as any other thing and one thing that has gotten subsequently 
I won't say that it is completely there in power plants is in terms of process safety management, which requires emergency response planning, control, and drills for it that you need to do from time to time. God forbid such things should not happen. But if it happens, if your people know what they are exactly supposed to do, they will no, you will not lose lives, you will not have injuries. So I understand if people take care of this, which most of the people must be taking care of, you will not have anything around and your processes will remain as safe as possible. Would say have a safe operations safe maintenance through and through. Thank you.